What's up, everybody? I'm from Joe Ten and TA is again. Well, I guess y'all heard the story about a school called Brando Middle School down in Roswell, New Mexico. About a 12 year old going in there and shooting up the place. Shot one kid in the face. Hit a kid in the face. Tell you, they said the boy tells, told a couple of students. Told a couple of students, don't go in. Happened Tuesday. Happened Tuesday. New school year just, uh, it's funny. New year. Just, uh, uh, New year. And we always, already getting a damn school shooting. Teacher gets credit for disarming a 12 year old gunman who was shot who shot two classmates at the school and I look at it like yes man I look at it it's 2014 man 2014 I'm sitting up here pondering my ass off more than ever more than ever and I'm sitting up there looking at all around us, man, and I still cannot wrap my head around. We sit up here in 2014, and the only thing people give us a damn about is people who says gay is a sin. They, oh, I noticed this. I noticed this for the last couple of years. Ever since we got that little shooting out there, Virginia Tech. Ever since we had this shit at Columbine. Ever since we had this shooting all this and that. And I noticed every time we had these little incidents with these damn school shootings, people don't think the Sandy Hook shooting, the theater shooting with the the Batman shooting, what happened? People thought about it and they forgot about it. They moved on to the next damn thing. When Honey Boo Boo Child came out, oh, it's all, oh, Honey Boo Boo Child, but they forgot all about the people who got shot and killed in these damn shootings. Never gave a second thought. Never gave a second thought to these people. As the victims slay there and die, man, everybody moved on. The victims' families can't move on. But everybody else moved on. They moved on from, oh, poor family. Oh, they they lost the loved one to, oh, fuck Phil Robinson. He said being gay is a sin. How do we jump from poor family losing a loved one to Phil Robinson? Fuck you for saying homosexuality is a sin. How do we jump to that, man? And that's one thing is. Every time we have a shooting in the school, we cry for a week, we build a bridge and get the fuck over it, and then we think about the next damn thing. And it, this, and I don't get, and, I'm powder, and I feel so fucked up. And I look out there in the world, I say, it could be anybody's child walking into that school and getting killed or walking the streets or anywhere in this world getting killed and to see that a 12 year old a 7th grader walking into a middle school shooting his classmates and that shit ain't sticking in everybody's mind it's not that don't that is not gonna stick in everybody's mind. Everybody's gonna build a bridge, get over, it, and forget all about this. You know why? Because their attention span is shorter than a fucking cockroach. Because I know that for a fact. Because every time we get one of these, what happens? Boo hoo hoo for we build a bridge, get over, move on to the next thing to see who to see. That's all people do. They build a bridge, get over, it, and then they they trying to wait and see who's gonna say homosexuality to sin to jump the gun and ready to roast them. That's all it is with the American people today. Cry for we about the people who got killed in school. Build the bridge, get over it, and worry about who's going to say homosexuality is a sin. That's all they do. What happened when them three girls that was missing for 10 years? What happened? Happy for we, Build the bridge, got over, moved on to the next one. J.C. Dugard. Came home, worried about it for two weeks. Bill Rich got over, moved on. Sent the hook store. Two weeks, Bill Rich moved on. Oh, Phil Robbins said it was gay. Three weeks. Still bitching and complaining about it. 
still bitch complaining about it. School shooting like this, man, will last for a week or so. People will build a bridge and move on and act like nothing happened. This is everyday life, people. Everyday life. And y'all worrying about people who going to say gay, being gay is a sin. That's what really bugs the hell out of me. And that's what bugs the hell out of me. You know why? Because people don't give a damn. People just not give a damn. Every day, man, I sit up here and I question people. Why is this? Why is that? And all I've got is fucking hypocrites. Every time I talk smack about Rob Deirdre, you need to grow up and leave him alone. You need to grow up and leave him alone. You need to grow up and leave him alone. If I talk smack about Justin Bieber, you need to leave him alone. Where was he at when these kids was getting killed? Dead babies everywhere now y'all care about. It's Justin Bieber, Rob Deerdeck, and all these people. That's sad. And I question, and, I, and one thing I don't get is like, why would this, tw one thing is about it is, it, for a 12 year old to walk in and kill, shoot up the place like that, you gotta question it. What made this boy do this? What made him do this? What made him go out there and grab a gun and walk in there and just start shooting? What was going through this child's mind to make him do that? That's the questions that people need to be asking. It's not about, oh, he needs to ride in prison. No, it's not what happened to this kid to make him do this. It's not about he needs to be in prison. It's about what the hell happened to make him snap. Ain't nobody question that. But you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna leave this leave it on this picture. This is a picture of three dead kids overseas. Three dead kids overseas. And I want you to I don't want this picture to burn in your mind. Every time I do a video, if you watch this video, I want you to if you watch this video, watch it all the way through. And I want this picture to burn deep into your motherfucking memory, your mind, that every time you see me do a video, you better realize, man, what the hell is happening to your kid. This is in Afghanistan. This is over there in Afghanistan, Iraq, Iran, uh, here, there, and everywhere. Your babies. A seven-year-old can do that. Look, three-day kids sitting right there. That's overseas in here. I say, and, and one thing I don't get is, like I said, the kids dying in the States every day. That's one thing I still don't get. Why do people build a bridge and move on? Why do people build the bridges and move on? The victims' families can never move on because they lost a loved one. But everybody else in the world has built bridges and moved on. And I question it. Why do y'all do that? Why? That is just something I will never understand.
and it's something I would never understand. Why would people feel so sorry for kids to get killed here, but oh, they go right back watching Honey Boo Boo and Rob D. They loving on Justin Bieber in a heartbeat. Why they ain't cold and they just move the hell on? I sit here and I look at this and I hear this story. I was like, what the hell happened in New Mexico and Roswell? What got this kid to decide to pick up a gun and go to school and shoot his classmates? It's not about where, well, actually, it's about where the hell he got the gun. Why? It just, I wonder. What made him want to kill his classmate? What made him want to cause this tragedy? And now, have y'all noticed this about these damn shootings? Y'all notice this stuff? That like every year we get like school shooting. Have anybody picked this up? I'm kind of picking that up. It's like I'm noticed that. Like every year, man, I remember, what was it, since, uh, what was the last one, was the, what was, what was it, the Virginia Tech one was a big one, I think the Columbine happened in the 90s, but the, what was it, the, that Virginia Tech one was that big one up in college, and what happened, every year since then, we start getting these damn school shows, y'all noticed that, have y'all noticed that, I, I know I have. And I've noticed it like, I, like I'm free. I've noticed that ever since Virginia Tech, that's all we got was these damn school shootings. Kids committing suicide, school shootings. That's all I've noticed. And I, and like I said, man, y'all got to question this. Y'all got to question this for real. What would make any child want to pick up a gun and do this? It's because the child's been bullied. It's because the child's been did wrong, or has the child been harassed? Has the child been going through something? Has the child been doing this? Yes, one. That's things that everybody should be thinking when this comes, when something like this comes along. It's not about where he. Well, it's not. It's not about what prison he's going to, what court. What judge is gonna have? Who's gonna be in his attorney? No, it's about what made this boy do all this. That's one thing I would have questioned, most likely. That's the one thing I would have questioned more like, most likely. It's like what made this dude wanna and. And one thing about it is when I looked at it, and I sat there and I, lo I was like, man, this poor child must have went through hell and back, man. Because one thing is to make a child pick up a gun and shoot somebody, somebody must have pissed this person off to make him do it. Because there's no way in hell that a person could sit up there and just shoot on Randall. Something pushed him to the limit to do it. And that's how it is. And that's how I see it. That's how I see some pushed him. Somebody pushed this kid to that damn limit. And I don't, and that's one thing I'll be, be sitting there and thought of, thought about, how to fix this, what to do, what made this little boy do this, that's the question I should be asking, but I guess nobody would never ask because they too worried about 
Rob did that. Just, oh, Justin Bieber's going to jail for egging somebody's house. That's worry about Justin Bieber and say fuck the people who got shot and killed by a damn twelve year old. Yeah, Justin Bieber's more important than a dead twelve year old. Yeah, but I th thought I had to just wanted to do this because I was hearing about this. It was kind of fucked up, but. Follow me on you. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, Silo Junior Two, Silo Junior Three. Tell me what you think. Peace, love. Like I said, man, cut the bullshit, man. Don't sit there and wait a week and then build the bridge and get over this shit. Let this shit sick in your head forever and ever, man. If I can, if you can sit there and remember Columbine, Sandy Hook, and Virginia Tech, and Little Rock, and all this shit. You ought to let this shit sit in your mind and say, fuck the rest of the bullshit. Now it's time to stand up and do the right thing. That's how I see it. Peace, love, and that fuck with y'all.